hey guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to tell you about venus in cancer okay we will understand properly what happens when venus is in cancer sorry in leo but before it please subscribe my channel follow me on instagram if you want to take my personal consultation or spiritual counseling or you want to join tarot card course or you want to join spirituality course then you can contact me for it okay so let's we start this video guys okay so leo is the fifth sign the fire sign here the beginning of dharma happens it comes after cancer when we you are quite emotional understand you are quite emotional you only take decisions by emotions you love comfort you want to be lonely comfortable and uh, nostalgic you also get deeply hurt and get deeply involved in the relationships but now you come to leo which is this extrovert sign which is a sign of party which is a sign of enjoyment and living the life okay passion enjoyment charisma all these things so now venus is coming in the sign of leo the king here venus um the planet of love beauty romance actually feels happy because venus wants enjoyment venus wants to enjoy the life creativity because fifth house is also creativity so venus here feels happy venus here feels contented although it creates ego issues in the relationship but if we talk about going into the artistic field glamour field okay becoming actor or um, creative field then this venus is amazing also it gives interest in learning the classical texts classical um, ancient knowledge okay so here venus also increases the interest in the ancient text ancient knowledge so um, venus basically rules the relationship so uh, here it is not that your relationship will not work or your relationship uh, there will be ego and all that things no uh, here also we have three nakshatras so uh, venus in magha basically can create issues because it shows the past life karma okay here you have to solve some karma magha nakshatra the throne okay the beginning of throne kedu nakshatra here detachment can happen partners can detach themselves from you heartbreak can happen at first because you have to learn something in your life regarding relationship okay because you were too much egoist too much proud uh, of yourself maybe about your looks in the past life that's why in this life or because of your ego you have broken heart of people so in this life you may have to face detachment or uh, emotional dissatisfaction so here basically venus is not into uh, um, glamour field or creative field here venus becomes uh, very much attached to uh ancestors okay it also shows that you may uh, you may be the rebirth of someone in your home especially a woman okay so, uh, you can be the rebirth of that woman in your home who is coming to clear some past life karmas for that you have to see where venus is placed if venus is placed in the fourth house it can be a motherly figure okay um so it can be like ancestors it can be in your mother's side or father's side depending upon uh, the chart so you can say the 10th house is of father you can uh, see the relatives of father from 10th house or uh, mother's relatives from the 4th house okay and other combinations you can see so very high chances are there that you are the rebirth of someone okay also it shows that uh, in this life you have to learn to let go your ego regarding relationships you have to make yourself emotionally satisfied and uh, give love give emotional satisfaction whatever lacks in your life whatever you think you don't have you have to give it to people also here it shows lack low confidence uh, you can have low confidence in yourself regarding relationships or regarding anything in your life depending upon where venus is placed 
so um, that thing can happen when venus is in magha nakshatra but it gives you a spouse who is definitely if this uh, if uh, you want to see for your wife then she can be um definitely having she can be definitely um uh, be someone from a very good prestigious family uh, who may be having um a very good family like their ancestors may be uh, rich and all that thing okay or uh, who may be very much connected to ancestors and all that so this is the thing now uh, in the purva falguni nakshatra which is the, uh, owned by the venus so venus here is very very good uh here see here people are not that emotionally hurt uh people basically who are emotionally dissatisfied or carrying some uh, emotional traumas from the past life they get hurt but the people who are spiritual who are um, not really affected by the breakups and all um they are uh, in the purva falguni nakshatra who just want to enjoy life easy going people so you will be also easy going uh, person who may want to experience romance you may love to enjoy you may love to party you don't really uh, too much do overthinking uh, you are a very romantic person who may have had lots of relationships so you uh, you like to flirt you like to enjoy so that kind of personality you may have and uh, easy going person uh, but you also want to get everything without working hard or without putting lots of efforts so you really want to have the materialistic comfort in your life because leo is a uh, uh, materialistic sign it is not very uh, we can say a uh, spiritual sign okay especially when venus comes here and the purva falguni nakshatra okay so this is the sign uh, where a passionate romantic lover is seen basically so it is a good nakshatra here the only lesson is that you need to be more responsible regarding your relationships and not take relationships lightly because rela you can take relationships lightly here however you will be a very passionate lover then uttara falguni here the person actually becomes responsible and thinks that he has to uh, do something uh, he has to get married okay he will not be interested in having only uh, casual dating he will want to have a serious relationship and want to marry they are not very romantic here they uh, consider marriage and relationship to be a responsibility however ego clashes can definitely happen uh, okay so uh, because venus is a planet of love and it is in the leo sign of fire and then it is also uh, in the fire nakshatra uttara falguni ruled by sun so strength of venus um, becomes so strength of venus declines here okay so that is why don't bring ego issues clashes or uh, increase love in your heart the more you will increase love the um, the stronger venus will become in your chart okay so always remember this thing because if we are lovable are uh, kind human beings then our surroundings also become lovable and kind and if we are not kind then our surroundings also become egoist proud angry kind of and we attract that type of people so this is the venus in leo which is which can be definitely a good placement uh, because um here it gives you luxuries wealth creative uh, skills okay romantic relationship good marriage the only thing is that in magha and uttara falguni some ego clashes can happen in magha it is ruled by ketu so uh, not very romantic but purva falguni is very amazing so i have got venus there then it, it is very good you can also see it in the navamsha chart and see in the nakshatras as well in the navamsha chart if in the navamsha chart venus is well placed then definitely you will have a good marriage because ultimately navamsha chart is very important so i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to subscribe take care bye bye